Hey, what's up? Today we're gonna do a tire change on the one wheel. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm gonna walk you guys through how to do that here real quick. Uh, so we got this Burris tire. It's the Burris uh, 11 by 5.5 dash six. That's for the six inch one. So I'll pull that out here. And as you can see, it comes folded like this. So when you get the pack, if you get this tire and you get the package, You'll see that's really thin, don't worry, because it's folded in half. And all you gotta do is just uh, find the bead here. By the way, this is the bead of the tire. I just wanted to point that out. And uh, you just gotta stick your hand in there and just pull it apart. You know, so here we go. Use that He-Man strength. <laughs> there we go. And look, it became a regular size tire. Yay! Whoa. Okay. So there's the tire. Um, th this particular tire, they send you Hey, I got two stickers. I don't know where your stickers at. Well, uh, they give you, you get two of these. When I got them, he got one, I think. <laughs> All right, so that's what you get. You get. All right. Now onto the part that probably everybody's interested in. Um, let's go ahead and uh, yeah, let's get the one wheel ready for a tire change. So let's get this. Flip it over here. Now, the uh, the. If you have float plates or whatever, the only side you need to remove, if you need to remove your float plates, remove your float plate. What we're trying to get to is the uh, compartment with all the wires and everything. We're going to remove the wiring, a few wires. So let's go ahead and remove the plates here. That one's for you. Yeah, I don't know. Bad. So you have one, yeah, I recommend changing one that screws out if, if it can work for you. So anyways, um, let's pull that out there. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and remove this uh, this compartment here. And this is where basically the power from your battery, uh, the connection to your, you know, the motor and your tire, that's where they all go. Uh, it's all connected here. Make sure this camera's still running. Yep. Okay. So, and I don't know what size a uh, hex wrench or element is it, this is. So you just have to try it, trial and error, and find the right size here. Um, so put that aside. And those are the two short ones, by the way, if you're curious. And they do have a little uh, lock thread, it looks like, in there. Mine didn't have that, by the way. No. Okay, um, so let's go open this up. So you just basically lift and pull it up. And there you go. Wow. It's a secret sauce right there. If you're wondering, take a look at that secret sauce. Okay, so now the next thing is we're going to remove this, this, and the one that's not the pad, so this one. Okay. So one, two, three, we're going to remove, remove those right now. And there's like special locks or something you got to push buttons on? Yeah, a little bit. Well, they put a little Loctite on here, it makes it a little harder. So, so this one, you just kind of twist. Um, if you can't twist it by hand, I just use like a little plier or something. Just take it like that. Twist it counterclockwise. And you see it comes right out. Lucy lefty. Lucy lefty. And then uh, you, these, the tabs, we're going to do one at a time here. So I'm going to show how the, that looks. So th these tabs, I got to just pull it down. And it's gonna allow you to push in this black piece here, right? So pull the tab down, push in that black piece, and then you can grab this whole thing here and just wiggle, wiggle it up. So let's do that right now. Okay. And I like to use something, um, I know a lot of people like to use screwdrivers, but I don't wanna use anything sharp, so I use something blunt to not damage the plastic here. And I kinda just push on it. Push it down and wiggle out. Uh, I gotta work around the camera here. But, yeah, I don't wanna hide anything, actually. Let me... Thank you, yeah, there you go, that works better. Let's push this down here. There we go. You hear the click, and I can wiggle it out. It takes a little bit of work sometimes. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Sorry, give me the plastic. You can push it back. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh. Warranty. <laughs> no, I over pushed it. Sorry about that. It's cool. It's just a plastic piece. All that plastic tab does is, is it stops this. The uh, this black clip from going down, so it's like a little, there's a little, um, what do you call it, like a little mound or a little hill. Safety. Yeah, just to stop you from pushing it down. We can always push it back in and lock everything. Okay. Okay, so we can lock it back in like that, no problem. Oh, perfect. But so, it's just this black tab you don't want to damage because that's the one you're gonna. But let's see if I feel it coming loose. Push it down. Yeah, it does take a little, little bit of a... Looks like a little pain in the ass. It is, it's a little bit. 
because even when you pull it down, it's in there so good. Like really, you want to push this tab down and wiggle at the same time. There you go. So it's out now. Did right. I catch, catch it on the camera? I think so. I didn't move the camera. Okay. Uh, is it on there? Is it showing it? I don't yes. know. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, you're golden, dude. Uh, <laughs> so that's there. It's connected. So we'll do the other side now. Let's pull the tabs down. And by the way, it's going to push down, push down the, the black tab again. Same thing, and don't worry about it. Though You can grab the whole thing, so that's where you want to grab it to get most leverage. This one should actually go further. Right? There we go. So you should be able to slide it like twice. So it slides like halfway, and then you gotta slide it one more time to get it really down there. Okay, now we can push down the black tab here. While I wiggle, let me uh, use the pointer here. Oops, there we go. So the whole goal is just to be able to push this down. The black thing imaging, well, wiggling it out. Yeah, it's like a little black bar. That's really small, huh? Okay. Yeah, it's, it's just like a little shoe. clip. It's a little clip okay. right there. There you go, and it slides right up. Sweet. Sweet. Okay. There you go. There you go. So the next thing now is once we got those out, you take out the three screws on the bottom here on the rail. So, and if you have any questions, uh, go ahead and ask them because you know the viewers might actually have the same questions as oh, you. Sure. Okay. Anything like comes across. So there's three tiny screws. You want to pull it out of the rail. And what those hold are basically little clips that hold, you know, neatly hold the wires against the uh, the rails. So pull that out. There's one, two, and then you can actually, just, you know, pull the clip out one at a time. Just the clip slide right out. And then I like to put the screw right back into the the clip. That's what it looks like. It's not much to it. Don't lose it. Cool. Right. Yeah. So just one or two turns in there, and then go to the other side here. Pull the clip out. And then just you know, put it in here so you don't lose them. One or two turns. By the way, these also have some looks like Loctite on them. It's not Loctite, but it's you know that type of um, adhesive or whatever you call it. For the screw. Okay. And then we got one more on the other side over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew this. Okay. And probably gonna have to flip it over real quick just to get the Screw out of there. Tap, tap. Yeah, tap, tap. Yeah, it came out. There it is. Okay. And Open then the thing. clip. And the clip came out. Okay, cool. So, we just put the screw in the clip. And that's what the clip looks like. Not much to it. Simple. Okay. Cool. So, next thing now is we're going to go ahead and remove the wheel. And uh, I, I don't think it matters what side you start on. You can. So, we'll start on this side here. So, basically, get the wrench in here. Stick it in. And uh -huh. Just twist it off counterclockwise. Easy peasy. Two bolts. Yeah. Sometimes it can be a little hard because they have like a, a Loctite on there. How do those feel? I mean, I've been riding for 360 miles. Are they loose? Actually, these <laughs> came up pretty easy. Yeah. Uh, mine I felt a little bit harder to come up, but mine was in the factory recently and they sent it back, so, uh, so it might have had a fresher, you know, Loctite, less vibration. And stuff. Yep. So I'll turn it over to the other side. But if you can see the wheel, it's already starting to like shake a little bit and mm -hmm. it wants to come out. Because these are the only things really holding it together. It's just these four bolts wow. holding it onto the rail. Thick solid bolts though. Yeah. Looks like I know another workaround for flying now too. <laughs> Thank you, Jeffrey. For, for, here we go. Check this. Carry this. Yep, exactly. So now we just pull it out. You can you can bump out the wheel any side you want. Um, Does it just fall out? I just do it this way because the, the wire's on the side. So I just flip it upside down and just kind of wiggle it out. Uh, should wiggle out. So we got this wire. That wire's cleared. Um, that those wires are cleared. Okay, cool. So that side's already coming out. Oh, it's just uneven. So just kind of evenly, you know, get it out of there. There is this wire still here. I'm going to pull this out. There you go. Clearance. And it, and it fell. And look at what we have. Oh, and if you look here. It's not much to it, but there's like a little channel where the wire goes in. Remember that because you're going to have to put that back. So just um, just pull it up. Just pull the wire up. It just kind of helps like neatly seat, seat the cable, you know. Keep it clean. Keep it clean. And there you go. Boom. Oh, yeah. Separated. Ready for flying. 
Giggity. So we can fly now. Um, yeah. But here, yeah, we got the wheel separated. Checking this rubberized bomb. <laughs> <laughs> so we're ready to go. And uh, oh, cool. ready to change the, 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 uh, the rubber. Okay, so I'm going to set this to the side here. Okay, Rails. See you later. Okay, sorry, but I think it's helpful um, to get just help release all the pressure from inside the tire. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Um, and I'll show you what that, what that tool looks like here. So if you have, you can buy either buy it for like two dollars at. Um, I went to Walmart and I bought this, and this is just helps you basically unscrew that little piece inside the ball stem. Um, either that, or if you get slime, um, if you get slime, it comes with this little piece here on the top, and it has the well. This is a little thing you stick in there. You can unscrew the, the stem. So. Um, either way it works. Um, this thing has a little slime on it, so I prefer to just use the other one, the little metal one that I bought for two bucks. Um, so let's, let's use that here real quick. So here you get the valve. You think you get the little camera a little bit closer? See, see what that looks like in there? And then, yeah, so we're just going to stick, stick this little piece in there. I'm just going to unscrew it. There it is. Just slowly unscrew it, you can hear air, air start coming out. Is it going to shoot out at me? No. Actually, I could have just done this without moving the... You can squeeze too, but... All it's going to do is leave a big hole and... No, lots out. of air comes out, yeah? <laughs> Not at one time. Just slowly leak out. Yeah, that's what I thought too when I first did I was like, is this going to fly out like a bullet? Yeah, right. But I think it's probably out of here. If I just pull this uh, almost. You can also replace these if you want to. Um, oh, if it gets bent? Yeah. Some for some people like if you can't hold air or whatever, that's one of the things you check is oh. it's like there's a little uh, O ring on it that holds you know okay. keeps it from leaking. But um, they're like two bucks for a whole new valve. You can get like a metal one or a rubber one, whatever you want. Seems reasonable. But there it is. Okay, so pull it out and that's wow. what it looks like. Just a little valve like that. So I'm going to set that aside. We don't want to lose that piece. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go on to the, the next part that's kind of difficult, I guess. Now, um, originally, you, you, I was able to do this with my hand. It took a bit of work. And I can kind of show how I did that here. Um, maybe I'll try it. I don't know. If I, if I don't succeed in my quickly, I'm going to go ahead and switch to using the bead breaker. But you got a bucket. Put a towel on the top of the bucket to help protect the rim and everything. And then it basically... Do you uh, wire up or what? Wire down? It doesn't matter because you have to do it both ways. Oh. Um, you have to beat the brick to beat on both sides. But you can basically, you know, what you do is you kind of like fold yeah. it. You fold it really tightly against the rim like that. And it's more of a peeling motion, right? You want to get that? And then for me, I saw, you know, a guy, he's really strong. He, he just went like this and like, oh, oh and man, man, man handled it. Handled it. Uh, for me, I had to go like this and go palm to palm like I'm doing CPR and basically just peel it off. And yeah, it's starting to come off. All right, took it off already. Wow. Okay, so I don't need my bead breaker. <laughs> like a boss. Look at that, man, like a boss. And it's a Vega. Vegas have shot a strip for walls, so a lot of times people are like, oh, that's harder to do. But look at that. Strong, man. That's the tech. It's all about technique. So fold it like that up against the rim, and you're going to peel it. Just put one palm on top of the other like you're doing CPR. Hey. And you want to do peeling motion. Now, I remember like some parts seem a little easier than others, so you want to find the part that's going to give you the least resistance. Okay, keep rotating the sweet yeah, spot. Yeah, look for that sweet spot. Wow, the other side was easier. <laughs> Found a sweet spot quick. This one looks pretty sweet. Let's peel it. It's pretty sweet, you guys. Oh, man. Well, how about this? So you can spend time doing that, and it is possible I've done it. You saw me do one side, but I want to use my bead breaker. Yeah, it's easy to <laughs> toy. Yeah. So, where is the bead breaker? Right here, sir. Oh. So I'll use the bead breaker real quick. Um, so I bought this bead breaker for about 40 bucks. If you're going to do a lot of tire changing, it's probably worth the investment. To get this bead breaker. I certainly appreciate you getting it. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So we don't have to deal with, you know, oh, is it, is it going to be easy to break the bead or hard? Or how much work am I going to have to do? Because this should make it easy. So now you can just beat it. Let's put it on here. And just make sure you're not on top of the rim. And just push it down. Yeah, I'm going to get a little bit further from the rim there. Don't be scratching my dubs. <laughs> See, that was pretty easy. Oh, that was cake, huh? Yeah. Okay. Just turn it. Just tap it in. Yeah, just need a little pressure there. There you go. Okay. I don't even have to try hard. It's tight. It's just leverage, you know? Some finesse, yeah. Yeah. That's it. Ooh, la, la. And so that's all. Bead's broken. And if you don't know, uh, I think I said it earlier, but the bead is the... I have another tire. Let me uh, get the new tire. The bead is this inside part here. That's what they call the bead. And that's what sits inside like a... Inside the rim there. That's what gets locked into the... This, uh, into the rim. But... Um, sits on the rim. So let's go ahead and, uh, so we got this off. Now we gotta, once the bead's broken, now we gotta pull the actual rubber off. Uh, this might take a little bit of work too. Um, but it comes off <laughs> like this, so. Man, I watched videos on this, so I don't know, we'll see. I've done it myself, I don't know how easy it's gonna be this time. Sometimes, you know, you might have more luck one time than the other. So. Okay, so let's do that. Go kart guys uh, change their tires. They use a uh, window cleaner to kind of like leave it up. So I'm gonna spray a little bit of window cleaner on there, and then you use that to help um, seat seat the bead when you put the tire the rim back. So let's see if that helps. Maybe it just wasn't slippery enough, huh? Mm. Yep, it's, that, that helped a lot. Tight. Helped a lot. You need another spray? Um, I'm gonna try to pull it up with my finger. Just tap it in. Tap, tap, tap it in. See the struggle. <laughs> yeah, it's hard, man. This part actually wasn't that hard to me last time. Hmm. <clears throat> this was actually one of the. Now I can get a good grip on it now, finally. <clears throat> there we go. I can lift now. I can actually, could, actually got my fingers in there. I'll push it through. Let's see what happens here. Alright. Finally. Got one, side. one side through. One more side. <laughs> so try to get the angle. Um, and then get some pressure on it. There you go. Yeah. That's a good idea. It's the only kind I have. <laughs> yes! Oh look at that. It's easier that way. Okay. Put on its side. <laughs> Put on its side. I mean, you might not even have to use towel, but let's use towel for grip. Put, uh, put pressure, just take this side at an angle and just push it off. Show them the box. <laughs> it's always technique, man. You just gotta find that right technique. Leverage. Leverage, okay. Okay, now I got the slimy wheel. Yeah, let's clean this off. I don't think you have to clean it off because we're gonna put slime back in anyways, but I'll just clean the old slime off here. And actually, if you don't clean it off, it can help you reseat or rebeat the, uh, the, new, the new tire. Yeah, it'll probably help, right? Yeah. But, uh, I'm gonna clean off a little because I'm old and dirty. <laughs> uh, put some new slime in there. Hmm. Mm. I don't think that's for me. Okay, anyways, so that's on. Let's go. So, uh, you're gonna put the tire back on the same way that you pulled it off, which is the opposite side of the. Uh, where the cables at. It's gonna pull out through the side with the valve here. Oh. Yeah, and actually let's look inside this tire real quick. These come with like a powder here. I think it's part of the manufacturing process is a white powder, so you wanna clean that out first. So I'm just gonna go ahead and spray it with this window cleaner. People like to use simple green. 
so spray it all inside there. And I'm gonna wipe it down and get rid of all that white, white junk. Don't know if you have to, but I did ask some people about it. They said, yeah, just swipe it down. All right, looks good to me. Good to you? Yep. Nice and clean on the What do you think, guys? Dries yeah. it up. Yeah, dry it up real quick there. Just make sure it's all dried. Okay. So now, I'm gonna put it on. It doesn't matter what side goes on first. They're both the same on both sides, so. But I am gonna spray a little bit of glass cleaner on the side I'm sliding on here. So let's see, I'm sliding this side. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna spray a little bit of glass cleaner around there. This is gonna help it slide right on there. And how it's gonna help it seat to, so let's put it in an angle. And I'm just gonna push it right on. And the same way we're putting it on is probably the way oh, yeah. <laughs> we should have took it off. <laughs> That's a way better video right there. Yeah, get the angle. <laughs> Okay, and then I'm gonna push this side on now. Just make sure you get an angle. That's it. Get an angle, and then just push it in. And actually, for the, we can do the same. Uh, on a, so get an angle. Start pushing it in. Oops. Uh, he's gonna laugh. John's gonna laugh at me when he sees this video. He's gonna be like, "I'm gonna cut all this out." <laughs> <laughs> nah, we're good. Let me just go out both ways here. There you go. go. There you go. Boom. What? Technique. Okay, so it's in. And then, yeah, just kind of, you know, try to straighten out the tire. Yeah, yeah. Just come out through the valve there. So what we're gonna do now? So it looks good. Tires in. Um, there's not much else to do. I mean, make sure it's just oh, nice. Oh shit, that was both sides. Wow. Yeah, it's both sides. I slip one in, slip the other side in, and go in the middle now. Take it in. So now we just gotta get that the little valve guy. Yep. And I'm gonna air it up, and we're gonna reseat or rebeat the tire. That's what they call it, I think. So start us over. Put this in, and I'll get the little tool and tighten it in there. Don't want to make it too tight. So let's get that there. Just tighten it in. Don't want to make it too tight. Like how tight is it? I don't know. Just like there's some resistance, I guess. Some seems resistance. yeah, seems good enough. I mean, everybody has to make their own decision, but you're not gonna you're not tightening it to metal or anything. It's just a little... don't strip it out, huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, and then uh, we're gonna go ahead and turn on the the uh, compressor. Compressor, and we're gonna rebeat it. So I'm gonna set the compressor to um, actually even says here when you on the instructions for this particular tire it says do not go over 40 40 psi when re reseating or rebeating. So I'm gonna listen to those instructions. So, so wait, do you pump it up higher than you normally would when you're installing it then? Is that yeah, usually, but actually, yeah, I think so. <laughs> I've heard of people actually riding their tire. So I'm gonna put the vault cover, you know, I'm gonna connect it to the tire real quick. And then I'm gonna set this to 50. You know, whatever pump you have there, you need a pump though. You might not be as fancy with this digital shit. <laughs> so I'm gonna, um, actually I'm gonna put this up to 40, sorry. And then you're gonna listen for two pops, one on each side. So that time was 43. That's probably what it was. Okay. Is that both now? Huh? Yeah, it's both seated already. Oh, You're right. good. So now we can go ahead and uh, unplug this. And at least for the go-kart guys, a lot of them, they deflate their tire and then re-inflate re it afterwards. So we're gonna go ahead and follow what they do. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let the air out here. So we got the two pops and we can take a look at the size and you can see that they're seated. Let's get it, and then I'll re-inflate it once it's back on. Okay. So let's go set it to uh, I'll set it to like 12 or 10. Let's set 10. Nice. Even number there. Okay. So let's plug it in. And then we'll just put the tire back on the, the one wheel. We'll put the rim back on. Okay, I get it. You get it. Alright, cool. Good enough. Just has a little shape there. Alright, let's put it back on. Okay, what screws go where? Yep. Oh, here's your old tire, by the way. I mean, here's all the slime inside of it. Oh, I yeah, forgot to put the slime in the new tire. That's Oops. what I forgot to do. So we're gonna have to probably we're gonna do that here. Um, 
I'm going to have to edit the video, aren't I? <laughs> okay, so. Let's edit the video. I forgot the slime. Oops. <laughs> so, I'm going to put that on and... The one thing besides putting the slime in <laughs> was, was that channel on the top or the bottom? The channel for the cord, I think it's on the bottom. On the bottom. But it would be like towards us. Right, gotcha. Because we're on the bottom of the fucking thing. Yeah. Sorry if I just cussed on your video. <laughs> how, how, how do you know? You, you remember it? You remember seeing it that way? Yes. Okay, because I didn't remember. Okay. So anyway, <laughs> I'm, I'm a terrible at this. All right. Uh, so yeah, we're going to put this back on. And let's... So before you even put everything back on, you're going to want to kind of slide the cables in place here because you're not going to have much room to work with um, once the tire is kind of in place there. So you kind of want to put, you know, kind of seat those loosely in there. You don't want to put it all the way in because you don't want to yank on them, but just uh, make sure they're in there because, yes, you know, we have room to work with it right now. So they're in there. Looking, looks pretty good. Okay, cool. You don't have to tighten, don't tighten anything. Just preceded. it. Yeah, just preceded exactly. And then so we're going to bring this up now. I'm gonna bring it up here, and I'm actually. Uh, let me turn it on its side so we can see what's going on here, at least on this side. So this cable, if you didn't see it the first time around, you're gonna seat the this power line or whatever inside here. There's a little like a little channel or something that'll hold it in the the rim of the in the rim. So let's do that here. You can kind of see where it was seated before too, so I'm gonna follow that. Yeah, that little pinch line. Yep, it's a little pinch line. There you go. Just kind of put it sideways in there. Right, it's in there. I pull it through a little bit more. Just kind of follow the pinch line that was originally there. And it's there now. Okay, so it's in. We're good. And then just make sure that they line up like these. Oh. I'm gonna push this into the rail as well. This power cable, push it in there, tuck, tuck it in there. Tucked in clean. Yep. And then, so this side's ready to go. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and put the the bolts in there real quick. Just do it by hand. So, and then we're gonna. Adjust the other side so just a little bit to kind of hold it in place, and then we'll go with just the bolts are all the same size by the way, so it doesn't matter. Um, just don't tighten them up. Yeah, just don't tighten them up. Try to put them back the way they took them out, but if you don't remember, not a big deal. This side as well. Make sure cable's hiding. It's going to go inside the rail as well. There we go. Okay, it's back in, and then I'm going to just hand you know put the bolts back in here. Just by hand a little bit, not too much, just kind of make sure they're lined up. There it is. Okay. So it looks good. They're all lined up now. Now we can go ahead and uh, start tightening them. When do you put the little clips on? Uh, the, just do the same order that we took it out, so the clips will go in next after this. I'm not tightening it all the way, I'm just tightening a little bit. I'm going to come back around and... Uh, Finally, just say, uh, really tighten every, all the sides here. Tighten this side here. Okay, cool. So let's, let's start tightening here. And you want them really tight, like, so make sure you tighten it. Yours actually came off easier than mine. Mine were like super tight when I... So it makes me fearful that mine was getting a little loose, huh? No, nah, you'll know if it gets loose, it'll start making sounds and <coughs> rattling and stuff. It won't just pop off, you know? <laughs> uh, yeah, it makes some weird vibrations and shit. I mean, if you think about it, you could probably even, you're fine, even three bolts on there. <laughs> so it's so tighten it good. What's the hypercore technology? <laughs> I wish I knew, man. It's supposed to cool it down. It like, helps with the cooling of the motor. Cause the motor gets hot right from all the energy running through it. It's Carrying around my fat ass, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yes, make sure it's tight. 
Now, I didn't put lo Loctite on this. You might want to go back and put some Loctite or something. Um, the reason I, I did this is because just in case we might want to take the wheel off for whatever reason again. Yeah. It should be fine for a while, but yeah, I recommend definitely going back and just put a little, like a dab of Loctite on the, on the threads. Um, so the wheel's in now. Tight. That's it. So, yay, hello. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and reconnect everything. And so we'll just do it in the same order that we we took it out. I'm just going to pop back in. You mean reverse order. Right? In, oh, sorry, in the reverse order. Yeah. <laughs> we took it out. Let's reverse everything. So let's push it back in until you hear a click, and then push these tabs up to lock it in place. So that's locked in. Same on this side. Lock, um, clip, uh, click in place, and then push it up. And to lock, you know, keep these tabs from being pressed on from loosening. So they're in there. They're good. And then this one just, um, it goes in only one way. So just find, you know, without without twisting the cable much, find out how it was seated in there. There it is. Boom, it goes right in. And then this, this top cap goes right. This top cap just slides in on top of just some notches and you turn it clockwise to tighten it. Uh, so, I mean, so like a weatherproof cover type of thing? I don't know, I don't know what a weatherproof cover is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, just, you can go by feel, so I will. That's it. And then it's tightened. Is that it? Giggity. Okay. Cool. kind of don't like these um, things because they kind of they wiggle a little bit. You know, they're not like completely solid. But anyways, mm. but that's how it is. Yeah, it's pretty simple, straightforward. And then we'll tighten this, everything back here. Do you want to clean it before you? Anything? Whatever. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot one more thing. The clips. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. So let's put the clips back in place, and it's, it's simple. So the clip, you just put it inside the road, just slides right in, and then you put the screw through. It's all. All it's doing is um, holding the cable against the rail there, and then you can push it, and then you see the, the little insert there, and you just put the screw in, and then I can tighten the screw. Long. So this has been about an hour, huh? 54 minutes. Wow, okay. Well, so some of it was the struggle. I mean, a lot of it was the struggle, really. There's only 10 minutes of that, yeah. Yeah, fortunately. Okay, put it through. That's it. And you see the little insert, you put it in there, and you just put the screw into the clip and tighten. You don't have to over tighten these, these are just holding plastic clip in place, so just a little piece in there. Okay, and then we'll just do, do the other side. Yeah. One more clip. Put the screw out that we had in there earlier. Hmm. Then we'll push the clip into place. This one's a little harder because I'm on the opposite side. <laughs> Do you want to spin the board towards it? Kind of, but I want to make sure the camera can see it. It's okay, so we'll push onto the rail here and we'll slide it afterwards. How about that? Let's do it that way. There we go. Okay, so you see this little slot there? I see gold. Hey, you see this? Don't like that. And actually, you see that? Yeah. This little pinch there, was that? Uh, I don't like that. I'm gonna take this off again. Uh -oh. I don't like that. Good key eye to detail. You sure it was this way? Um, no. <laughs> yeah, <I'll try. laughs> Oh, I can look at yours. Shit. Well, now I'm thinking about it. I don't even know if I put mine in there. <laughs> really? Let's go find out here. It's a little insulation thing there, it's a little pinched. Oh, it looks like it's been pinched though. Oh, let's see. Yeah, let's see. I think that's been like that though. That's not something new. Mm -hmm. So I wonder if um Yeah, I was thinking on a little bit there. I don't think it's anything we did though. I think it was already like that. We'll see it a little bit better. There you go, see it in there. It should be good. Okay. Thank you. So let's make sure, yeah, it's important to make sure everything is uh, nice and uh, clean. Yeah. Almost didn't catch that. All right, let's tighten this again. So let's make sure that the, um, 
Yeah, make sure none of the cables are pinched. Make sure the insulation and everything is, you know, everything looks flush. I'm going to be honest with you, I don't like that this is sitting this way. Um, oh, no, it has to be this way. This way. Yeah, it has to be this way. It can only be this way because the cable's going that way. If I had it flipped right. over, it'd be going that way. Totally. Yeah, okay. So it has to be this way. This side tells you. Yeah. Interesting. But that, that exposes this thing here. I kind of want to look at my board. I'll, we'll look at my board after this. Okay. But that looks exposed. But I, I can see it. It can only really go one way. Um, Uh, let's look at my mirror. Oh, let me. What's up, man? Hey, there, coach. Yeah. It can only go that way because the cable is going out that way. Yeah. Okay. And it is on the bottom. Okay. So, so one of the things I didn't pay attention to was <laughs> that you should pay attention to more next yeah, time. Yeah, is which way the the um, the little hub in the middle of the, the wheel here, uh, which way is facing. But it's obvious this can only go one way. So um, look at the there's one side that has the two cables connected to it. These two, um, that that cable is going to tell you which way that the uh, the center piece should be uh, spun. You know. Or um, so it, it can only go one way, so it's going towards the uh, controller compartment. Makes sense. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so now let's go put this clip in place. Put this last clip in place here. Hopefully, I can do this faster and better. The Next time around. <laughs> We're good. We're doing good. Almost done. Alright, so back to what we were doing. Put the clip back in. And let's tighten this. How often do you see designed and assembled in California? <laughs> Never. We're, oh yeah, incredible. Hey, don't look at close. Oh, yeah, block the serial that. number. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, we're good. So let's put the case back on, on here and uh, <laughs> don't show my serial number. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that's gonna anyway can do with that. But yeah, whatever. Well, if they steal your board, they have the serial number. <laughs> so I don't know if there's anything that really. Either. Well, maybe if one wheel's watching this video, they're like, okay, let's be sure to void oh. his warranty. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. I didn't think about that. That's why I asked if the tire gets destroyed, too. <laughs> no, the tire doesn't get destroyed. And if you bring it back, it gives me opportunity to practice again. There you go. <laughs> well, hopefully we don't break down. Sheila keeps riding for a wrong time. <laughs> um, why is this cover not going on? Uh, so it should just go right there. Over that. Two short bolts, two short bolts going there. I'll tighten those. I'll put your foot plate back on. And I might as well, while we're here, just check your rest of your screws, make sure everything's tight. We'll inflate your tire. Oh, we'll put some slime in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't tighten it super tight. What is this bird feather? Okay. <laughs> you know it's weird. I do get bird feathers and stuff like that in my wheel. I notice that sometimes. Just picking it up from the road. Yeah. It's birds all over the place. I guess. Never noticed them before. Um, <laughs> so put the float plate back in place. So, like I said, you got the. I wish I had another one because I have a lot of these long ones too, but I don't have the shorter ones. Hmm. 
Yeah, so I'll go ahead and put the... Well, I suppose put the shorter ones in the front, huh? Yeah, the shorter one's going to be here. The, towards, I, I know sometimes towards the tail light in the past, people have done the longer screws. But, you know, when I got my board back from Future Motion, everything was short. Hmm. So I highly recommend if you can, try to do the short screws first on all of them. Um, if, then if they don't fit, then maybe you have to go to the longer screw. But... Turn harder and you go say that. I guess so. <laughs> oh wait, wait. No, your toe side. I'm sorry. You're. I, I'm goofy foot. That's why I'm thinking. It's heel side, but it's actually toe side for you. That makes sense. Yeah. So you turn harder. Okay. okay. The float plate back on there. Yeah. I will get that. That's good to get. Look at by the way. <laughs> This part of the video though. Hey, look, we got the float life float Yee. plates on there. <laughs> Shout out McCosker. What's up, float.life? Float Get yourself a pair, seriously. Float plates. Okay. Protect your neck. You better check yourself before you wreck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here you go. Tighten this. When you hear that, you don't want to turn too much more. Yeah. Because you'll take the um, threads. Yeah, the threads, you'll loosen them off. And uh, okay, I think this is pretty good. Does a double check in there. Yeah, I feel like I may have just did these when I installed these plates, which wasn't too long ago. Yeah, that one was a little loose back there, though, on your, hmm. your tail side. Yeah, see, this is good. The tail side was a little loose for some reason. So, so those radical drops. <laughs> <laughs> and we're here, so might as well check your... Sure you check those little bolts on the wheel too. No, you know I don't want to. The reason I don't want to tighten those. The reason is because they have Loctite on them, yeah. and if you start twisting them, you Breaks might kind of break them. Yeah, you don't want to do that. So check your pads here while we're here. You know, doing what Future Motion should do. Double check everything <laughs> before they send it back to you. Because I can't get through. Yeah, those are good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna peel this off and pull that. Yes. That's my sticker, you guys. Oh, here it is. This is going to be the warning on this. The warning says, stand back. Never exceed 40 PSI to seat beads. Oops. Oops. I thought we'd do 43. <laughs> yeah, maybe 45. Yeah, okay. Should be good. Sometimes you can break the law a little bit or the rules a little bit. Hmm. Okay. They're mostly guidelines. Yeah. Um, so we're going to do slime now. So. Okay, take two. <laughs> so I tried using this little plastic tool that came with slime. Unfortunately, I guess I tightened it back a little too tight and this plastic's not doing it. So I'm gonna put the metal thing back in and loosen that. So that's a good reason why you should probably maybe use the metal instead of the <laughs> little plastic slime thing. It's our little $2 piece here. That makes it easy. Look at that, it's already off. Okay, let's twist it off there real quick. Well, that's a lot less frustrating, huh? Yeah. Let's put the slime in. So, slime here. You see the whole bottle, I think? Yeah. Just connect the tube to the slime. Put, this, put, put the tube in here, and then we're going to squeeze it down to. Uh, it's hard to see here, but we're. There, I can see if you squeeze it, you can kind of see where the level's at there. You see it? It's moving. There it is. I don't know if it's going to come across, but... Yeah. yeah, I don't know if it's coming across in the video or not. But if you squeeze it, it kind of shows you, you see it moving up and down there. So it's at 20 right now. We're going to bring it down to 16 for 4 ounces. Put 4 ounces in this tire. If you go to uh, slime.com, there's a calculator. Whoa, green. Yeah. It's really close. <laughs> there is a calculator that shows you um, how much slime should go in there. You put in the uh, diameter of the tire, 
and the width of it. And I'll tell you how many ounces. For this size tire, it was like 3.9 ounces or something like that. So we'll put about 4 ounces. So take, take a look here. Let's see if I can get them out there. Oops. Um, it's a lot easier when you have a brand new bottle. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> See it moving there. And I guess the guess would be how much is it in the tube, right? Like, do you think that's an ounce or two ounces when it's in here? See it move in there, huh? Like when it's in here, like how much is that? You know? Oh, I don't know. I wish I knew. So I can see it right there. It's up to there. If you just keep squeezing up and down, you can see it moving around, mm -hmm. and it's right there. So it has about that looks like about 18 ounces or something. We got it. So we got quite a bit more to go. So it was like half, yeah. Yeah. I guess, you know, I was told that it's supposed to be able to coat, coat the whole inside of the tire. And the reason why you would want to do this, by the way, it's not just, you don't just do it when you have a flat tire there. They're at 16 ounces now. Perfect. And the reason why you would want to do this is not just when you have a flat tire, is when you're riding, if you happen to get like a little, a little, um, you know, poke or something, go through a little leak, it'll help plug it up real quick. Or it also, it'll help get you home. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to carry this 20, you know, 26 pound thing around so we're yeah, we put four ounces in I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it this time I'm not gonna tighten this tight <laughs> I'll just uh, tighten until it gives me a little resistance and then I'll let it go there you go a little resistance yeah. we're good. little resistance a little more a little more resistance <laughs> I don't know you have to make good judgments Okay, so let's pump it up. Uh, in so on your Vega, you normally rode what? Twenty-one to twenty-three. Okay, let's stretch you up about eighteen and see how it feels. Okay. And then you can go ahead and uh, after that, I normally ride this this particular tire at a twenty-one point uh, five psi. What did you ride before? I rode twenty-three before. So so that's a uh, let's set you to eighteen. Okay, you got 17. Seventeen point five. Eighteen point five. Take it. Take it out, and you want to go ahead and take it for a test spin? Fuck yeah. <laughs>